dear students this is sstp academy today we are going to learn about syllabification before going to this video if you are new to our channel like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon for more updates in sslc examination syllabification questions are very very important it is asking for one marks first of all we are going to understand the what is syllabification it is a sound of a vowel a e i o u that is created when pronouncing the letters a e i o u or sometimes y the number of times you hear the sound of a vowel is the number of syllables in a word ways to count syllables there are so many ways that that is uh, mainly uh, mentioning here uh, three methods the first one is the listen method say the word first one is say the word and b is how many times do you hear a e i o u a separate sound c this is a number of syllables that means say the word and uh, how many times you hear the a e i o that means how so many times you hear those are called sounds and this is the number of syllables next one is is very important method and it's also easy method to the students the chin method put your hands under your chin say the word so first of all you put your hands under the chin and say the words how many times does your chin touch your hand that means while keeping your hand under the uh, your chin how many times the chin will go into touch your hand uh, this is a number of syllables that means how many times touching one time touch means one syllable two time touching means two syllables just that like that how many times your chin will go into touch your hand that much of syllables you will count the third method is the written method a count the number of vowels a e i o u in the word so given word is that in that given word you have to count the a e i o u sounds and b add one every time the letter y makes can y makes and a e i o u sound so sometimes y also makes some sounds a e i o u then as you have one Ah, uh, see, subtract one for each silent vowels. So sometimes silent vowels are there. That then that time also you have to uh, remove or subtract uh, one vowel silent. So for example, like a silent e uh, at the end of a word. For example, mate. So e is there. That's only one time only you need to count it and subtract one for each diphthong. Or triptongs. Sometimes in the word they have uh, uh, diphthongs and triptongs. That time also you have to subtract only one. So if you count two means you will get wrong. Uh, that is I O U also in the word. And E add one if the word ends with L E or L E S. So it's end with L E or L E S and uh, letter before the L E is not a vowel. See, is it now? Then the number of number that means the number you get is the number of syllables in the word. So sometimes you is there. No, that's also get number of syllables in the given word. Now see how can you can do this? See, for example, one syllable words, two syllable words, three syllable words, four syllable words, or multi syllable words also. You have to call it that. See, one syllable words. I eat tea, zoo, go, shoe, key, moon, greed, friend, grand, car. These are the one syllable words examples. Two syllable words: canteen, daughter, college, father, harnessed, empty, remain, prepare. So these are example for this two syllable words. Three syllable words: accident, beautiful. affection relation selection familiar 
these are called uh, are, these are the example for the three syllable words four syllable words conversation registration uh, ceremony agriculture relaxation traditional so these are called the four syllable words so we call it more than uh, four syllable means that also polysyllable words also how many syllables do you uh, do the following words contain so you need to syllable um, that means uh, find out the split the word and find out the how many syllables are there in the each word accept accept two syllable words canteen canteen here also can plus teen so two syllables reflection reflection three syllables school only one syllable touch your uh, hands to chin then count it it's very easy to identify the syllables and then next one is uh, direction direction so three syllables people people that is two syllables quiz only one syllable vanish spell the word va plus nish that is two syllable primary primary so here also uh, i is there then a is there and the y is there no? primary that's the way it's country is a syllable uh, that means y also you can as a syllable it gives the vowel sound three syllables primary three syllables whole only one syllable section section two syllable newspaper newspaper so that is three syllable uh, continent continent it's also three syllable tala tala two syllable adventure adventure three syllables english english two syllables determine determine three syllables anger anger two syllables probability probability five syllables white only one syllable i go i go two syllables idea idea so here also three syllables determine determine three syllables probability it's repeated five syllables i go two syllable ancient ancient two syllables poverty poverty that is three syllables wizard two syllables supper supper two syllables orchard two syllables around only one syllable exit exist two syllables world only one syllable burglar two syllables extreme two syllables ragged two syllables monster two syllables so it's like this we need to spell the word and also find out the so it's best method is a chin method keep your hand on the under the chin and spell the word then how much time the chin will going to touch your hand then that much time that much syllables you have in that word it's very easy method and it's very important question for the examination purpose thank you friends if you like this ppt or video like share and subscribe and if you want to download this ppt i will give you link in description go on download it